Free Sky sent me the new Tandem X20S from the new line of Tandem radios. This is the most expensive and most cutting-edge technology radio that I have so far. I'll show you all the features this radio includes. The Tandem radios have a dual-band telemetry radio system, that is 2.4 GHz and 900 MHz combined in one system getting the advantage of long range and telemetry with only 4 millisecond latency. This is a huge upgrade allowing you to use 900 MHz free sky receivers with the built-in 900 MHz system, not need to use an external RF module. Better yet, the new upcoming receivers will use the two bands for an incredible redundancy radio link. It's also compatible with most receivers of previous versions and protocols except the T8 receivers. For the others, you might have to update the firmware. The other big feature is the new Ethos operative system. It works seamlessly with the new radio and its new features, including the nice big color touchscreen. The use of the Ethos OS deserves a separate video on its own, but this software is powerful and also looks simple. You can do anything that you can do in OpenTX, and it's in constant development. I personally haven't used it much, so I'll share my experiences about Ethos in the future. Talking about the screen, it's enter-reflective, so it's easier to look at in a bright sunny day. The brightness is good enough to see clearly, and although I rarely look at the screen while flying, it's good to have a comfortable screen to look at. Just like OpenTX, Ethos allows you to set different screens displaying different data if you need it. Let's talk about the ergonomics, size and physical features of the radio. Starting with the ergonomics, the sticks, buttons and the switches. The radio has a good size, not too big, not too small. It comes with a nice 2S 4000 mAh LiPo battery. So you'll have this radio working for long periods of time without the need of recharging the battery. I really love the design and the look of the radio. The weight is similar to a Tehrani's radio but it's definitely heavier. It feels nice in my hands and you can even place the extra grips included. Although the menu navigation can be done directly on the screen, it can also be done with the buttons and wheels. Near this, we also have six different buttons. Perfect for selecting modes, especially if you use Autopilot and its famous six modes. The buttons are placed so I can reach them with my hands easily. It has eight flip switches, which I think are a bit soft. I was expecting stronger switches, but I'll say that they're good enough. Something new are the two buttons at the back of the radio. These are perfect for a quick mode change, so you don't have to move your hand too much to press them. The potentiometers feel really good and precise, and the side sliders are a bit awkward to me, and are a bit hard to reach with my index fingers. There is also a linear slider in the center of the radio, so I might use that one instead for the flaps in my glider. The gimbals now have an adjustable stick movement of 45 to 60 degrees, and of course, the tension of the springs are also adjustable. It can be done without opening the radio, you just need to reveal the spots where you can adjust them from the back. The FreeSky Tandem S and HD versions support rotating gimbals left to right within 8 degrees. That's the first time I hear about adjusting the gimbals like that. At the back we have an external light module bay that supports R9M light, R9M Pro light, XJT light, and other external modules of the same kind. At the top we have the ports of the radio. This includes two external antenna connectors for 2.4 GHz and 900 MHz, thus extending the range even more. Then we have the an audio jack output, the USB Type-C connector, the microSD card slot and an SD card is included in it. The HD version will have an HDMI port here. Then we have a smart port and finally the trainer port. The radio has a couple of gyros or accelerometers to detect radio inclination or movement. You can use this as an input for any channel to drive servos with it. That's very cool. I love the case included with the radio to protect it and carry it around. The next strap included is also high quality. I'm really excited to test it with my Epsilon XL3 glider and also replace the old servos that I use in this glider with the new exact servos from FreeSky. Really high-end servos that I'll be showing you in the next videos. If you want to purchase the radio, I'll leave the links in the description below. 
Right now they come in blue and black versions, I got the black one. This is definitely a very good new addition to the line of products from Fry Sky, especially for the new technologies being used. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.